everyone. This is Patrice with the Positivity Corner. And I'm back with another video. And if you are on the eastern coast of the United States, ooh, you see I'm all bundled up. Please stay warm. Uh, we had some more snow. Ooh, this is getting really old. <laughs> We're going to have some snow in uh, two or three days from now as well. So, mm, the winter's here. Anyway, I, a uh, long time ago, I had been requested to do some more of this band. I'm just getting it to it now. My apologies for that, but it's not an issue because I like them too. They are a Scottish funk and R&B band, one of the best to ever do it. Of course, I'm talking about the average white band, also known as AWB. They had a bunch of hits between 1974 and 1980. Now, they are already on this channel. I played the classic Queen of my soul. Check it out. I'm going to do a few more by them. They um, have been sampled by a lot of musicians over the years, including Arrested Development, Tribe Called Quest, Nas, Eric B. and Rakim, Ice Cube, Too Short. The list goes on and on. I think Public Enemy did one. Thing, the Beastie Boys as well, yeah. They are uh, one of the most sampled acts in music history by hip-hop. Their last album came out in 2018. That's almost 50 years after they got together. Kudos to Average White Man. Wow, that is a long long career um, they were formed actually in 1972 and they started cranking the hits out uh, in the early 70s yeah and I remember them because they came they got really popular when I was in um, high school uh, their first album wasn't a hit but the second one was called AWB, self-titled, Average White Band. That was released in 1974. And it had the iconic, iconic instrumental, Pick Up the Pieces. Now, I'm not going to play Pick Up the Pieces. Why? Because I already have it on the channel. I have a cover of it by uh, the one and only David Sanborn. And Kenny G, which was from Kenny G's album. And it's a good cover, too. I love it. Um, I'm not going to do that one. And the reason why I'm not going to do it is because I'm going to do another cover by them. And I already have another cover of the same song by a different artist. So that might sound a little confusing, but... You'll get it when I get to it. Um, I like them. I think, oh, they're just so talented. Very good musicians, good singers. Just the total package. And they are a funk and soul band. Funky as hell. Whew. They could play. I remember when they were on Soul Train. Back in the 70s. And uh, they played live. In other words, a lot of the shows were uh, people lip synced, right? But um, they played live, and we were all dutifully impressed and bought their records. I'm going to play this one. I really like this one. This is the title track from their 1975 
uh, album. Yeah, this is this is a good one. I love it. This is Average White Band with a classic. And this one is called Cut the Cake. <laughs> That's just a good, good instrumental. Wow, that was from the Average White Band, 1975. The title track of their album, Cut the Cake. As I have said many times on this channel, I was not the only one who liked that song. 
song I just played was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best R&B Performance by a Duo or Group with Vocals in 1976. Ah, but they lost. But you know who they lost to? <laughs> Earth, Wind, and Fire for Shining Star. Oh, well. <laughs> Hey, it was a huge hit. It was number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100. It was number 13 on the dance chart. And it was number 7 on the R&B chart. It is one of their best for sure. As always, this is Patrice with the Positivity Corner. Please like, click, share, subscribe, push the bell button y'all and join the party i will be back with some more from the average white band <laughs>